Uh, we've done a lot of work on this 69 Super B and not every car, but some cars it does this where it actually you, you turn the key off and you've got the idle set at a certain idle speed. Let's say on this four speed car, you have the idle set at like 750, 725 and you go to turn the key off and it, and it runs on or diesels where the engine shuts off, but it still keeps running, but it sounds like it's dying. And so there's one way to combat that. And the re one reason why it does it is the throttle plates aren't all the way closed and it tends to just kind of burn some of the gas that's still in the engine, even though the ignition sh is shut off. So is what we went ahead and did on this one is I installed this idle stop solenoid. And so I can turn the idle all the way down, like to where the throttle plates are absolutely closed. And in, in reality, it brings the idle down to like 400 RPM, which it won't run. It, it barely would run at like five or 550. So you back the throttle plates all the way down to nothing where it's just absolutely closed. And then you use the idle stop solenoid to do your curb idle. And that's adjustable by this guy right here. And you can adjust your idle that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it and it's activated by this wire, which is off the choke, which is key on or run only. And as soon as you turn the key off, it kills the solenoid and allows the throttle to go completely dead. So the engine will not diesel or run on. So Chris is gonna go ahead and videotape this while it fires up here. And so when I start this, the idle solenoid will actually not activate until I push on the throttle. Because the solenoid will only hold, but it does not push. So there's my idle right there at about, oh, like 750 RPM or so. It's got a really nice idle, but then I go to shut the car off and the solenoid will actually kill. So you see how the solenoid backs off? So I'll do it one more time. So the solenoid holds the idle, but then allows the carburetor to completely shut off. Um, so, a lot of these Mopars come factory with it. Let's check out this 340 four barrel car. Now this has one from the factory, it wasn't an add-on, but they do it to kind of combat the same thing. Because a lot of these performance engines have a kind of a haul, uh, a high stall converter. They need a little bit higher idle. And so this one actually has an idle stop solenoid on it too and it does basically the same thing. It'll increase the idle when you're driving it, but when you go to shut it off, it'll actually let the car die. So that's a factory solenoid right there. Now let's go over and look at this six pack car. So this is all factory, this is the OEM restoration, and this is an original idle stop solenoid. And we actually got a couple cars here that have this and we can go look at it. Uh, we have a 446 pack car. So this guy right here, once again, it'll raise the idle, but then when you shut the car off, it allows it to die. So that's factory on a 346 pack car. All right, Chris, we'll go in and take a look at the car inside. <laughs> 